Okay, this is uh, the CNC router that we're going to use to make um, our MDF name project. I've copied the file onto my memory stick or thumb drive. Now what I'm going to do is show you how to turn the machine on. This is a really good machine. We use it to cut out a lot of letters, a lot of different projects, all kind of different shapes and stuff. It's a great little machine. Let me go ahead and turn it on. If you come over here, underneath this uh, uh, desktop table, there's a power strip. You just hit this button and that turns this power strip on. The first thing you're going to hear is the motors, the stepper motors fire up and they're getting power to them. Once that's done, we still have to turn the computer on. The computer is right here. Always turn the computer on first prior to or before you stick your memory uh, thumb drive or memory stick in. So if we look over here on the screen, we see the uh, machine powering up. It's going through its boot sequence, and that's good. So now that it seems like it's found the Windows uh, boot file, I'm going to go ahead and plug in my thumb drive on memory stick. Okay? Uh, go ahead now, and I'll put it in the computer right here and install that. And the computer will come up. While it's doing that, let's give it a little quick overview of the system. Uh, one thing that's important to note is that we have a spoil board attached to it. We need to measure that spoil board. Uh, the spoil board, in this case, is 43 and a half inches by uh, 19 and a quarter. Now, the spoil board is where we actually cut through the NDF. As you can see here, it's cut through before, and that's okay. Let's kind of walk around the machine. I always keep a trash can here so I can throw away any scrap wood. Uh, and if you come down here, I've got it all set up. And this is a, actually, it's a pretty good machine. It's two feet by four feet in distance. It's been a real workhorse for us. Uh, it's chain dry, which gives us barely any deflection on the part as we mill it out. Uh, it's using a Porter Cable 690 router. These work fine. I actually, this is the third router I've put on. This is how much production the machine has been in. Let's see if the file is, uh, if the machine is already up. Yeah, it's up. And it's also found the memory stick here, or the thumb drive. I'll double click on that and I'll open that up. Now, remember the file was the HANA profile, and there it is right there. So I'll take it, right mouse click, and when I right mouse click on it, it'll come back and it'll let me copy that file. Well, I guess it won't. So I'll do a control C to copy it. And now what I'll do is I'll come down here and I'll open up um, my documents, and I'll open up my documents, and I've created a thing called plat manufacturing. I actually have a folder here called wall hangings, and I mean, as you can see, I've cut out a lot of things. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new folder, and I'm going to call this one Hannah. Okay, there's Hannah, and I'll double click on this folder, and I'll do a right mouse click and paste my file in there. So that's good. Now, let's go ahead and collapse these windows here. I'm going to go over here to the start menu, and I'm going to crank up Mach 3. And again, Mach 3 is the controller software. Very important as you select Platman Mill 3. Now, every computer and every mill will have its own different profile. This is how I set this one up. I'll select OK. And when it comes up, it'll have the Mach 3 interface. Notice how it's got the reset here. We'll go ahead and click that. And so now I'm able to use the, the, the um, keypad here, and I can rotate the machine one way or the other. Okay? As you can see, I'm moving the machine around. Hold my shift key down, and I can move it faster and more rapidly. So what I'm going to do is basically go back to where it's kind of in the center, because I'm going to need to cut my NDF to put on here. Now, let's look and load up our G-code file. I'll come over here to the button, either load G-code here, or I can hit the pull down, and I can say load G-code. We'll select it off the Mach 3 screen. We'll come over here, and we'll find our documents. We'll find plat manufacturing. We'll find wall hangings and we'll find the word uh, folder HANA, and there's our file, and we'll open it. And so it opened up that text file that we created in Aspire, and as you see, it's got all the G code here in the file. Goodness gracious, I would not have wanted to key all that in. So right now it says 24 inches by 10 inches by 8 inch. Okay, so we need to go cut us a piece of wood or cut a piece of MDF at that size. Okay, we'll stop here for now. Mm -hmm.